I wanted to share a short revelation that the Holy Spirit gave me the last few days regarding oil and how it is regulated. If you've been watching the news lately, you've probably heard about the shortage of um, of diesel. But in my revelation, the Lord showed me how there are two kinds of oil which represent provision. There is the oil of heaven, and then there's the oil of earth. So first, let me explain the oil of earth, which is more easily explained. And how I want it to explain it is with a regulator. See, if you've ever run something on uh, <laughs> propane, hold on just a second here, guys. There we go. So if you've ever run um, like a stove or a, um, um, a a barbecue grill or anything off like that off of propane, you know that uh, you have a regulator and that regulator allows a certain amount of that natural gas or that propane to flow through it. But what happens when something breaks with that regulator, like the diaphragm messes up or it gets a hole in your hose, um, bad things can happen. Uh, too much propane can come through it can cause like an explosion or too little propane can go through and your food will never be cooked or whatever you're trying to make or build it will just not work it won't have enough power and we know um, in the world um, what this is like to have too much or too little see the in the world um, people regulate um, everything and satan is allowed to um to give people to ration things you know he's allowed to give people a certain amount of provision but it's not the provision that comes from heaven satan can ration gas he could ration food he has power over this world and if your business for example is doing really really well it's like you have that oil from the world and it's just pouring in and you can say forget about god i don't need the oil from heaven i have plenty of this oil i have plenty of gas i have plenty of diesel i have plenty of this um the provision that the world can offer me whether it's your physical money the physical arm of your flesh providing food for your family you have everything that you need but the problem is the regulator is not the regulator of heaven the regulator is the devil and the devil can shut off your power here on earth and so if your provision is coming from the oil um, or the natural gas or the the propane or the diesel whatever it may be of this world figuratively satan can shut that off in, in an instant or he can give you so much that you're overwhelmed i mean right now you might be doing really good um Maybe your biggest fear is um, your business getting too big, you know, um, having too much money. And a lot of Americans have been very prosperous and the oil doesn't seem to run out for them. Their problem is they forget God. Um, they're so busy. They don't have time for anything except for their own business and making money. And it's like the devil's blessing them very, very well. They have all this um, income all of this uh, <clears throat> provision for them. But what they don't realize is the one who regulates that oil is, is the devil. It's, it's men that can shut it off. Um, the same one that can give you too much can also give you too little, or the regulator could be broken. And this is how um, the provision of the world works. You may have so much that uh, you totally forget God and Satan takes you to hell with too much or he gives you too little and you run out and you're dying and you're stealing because you don't have food, you don't have warmth for your family, you have murderous thoughts that come into your mind because um, it's that just uh, that instinct that overcomes how overcomes you, how will I survive? And so you're ready to kill, steal, steal from others to protect your own family. So the regulator of the world is, is going to be broken, guys. 
Um, Satan's in control of that. And the, uh, the principalities of the world control the oil of the world. So this is the oil that you probably understand to a certain extent. But the other oil that the Holy Spirit um, gave me understanding of is the oil or the provision that comes from heaven. And so who is the regulator of that oil? That regulator would be Jesus Christ. And the example of this would be, if you remember how the nation of Israel was led around, it shouldn't have taken them 40 years of wandering in the wilderness. If they followed the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit would have led them and he would have uh, disciplined them in righteousness and regulated them correctly, but they disobeyed God. But as it was, if you remember the story, um, the Israelites uh, complained against God and God gave them manna from heaven. And that manna that came out of from heaven was regulated by God. They could collect as much as they needed during the week, but not more than they needed. Um, If they collected more than they needed, um, it would rot. And they weren't supposed to collect on the Sabbath. And if they did, it would also rot. It would, um, you know, get worms and become, uh, it would become throwaway. It'd become trash. So the Holy Spirit wanted to be the one who regulated um, how much they received so that they would always um, trust in the Spirit of God, that he would regulate them correctly, not giving them too little or too much. And that is how the Holy Spirit wants to lead us. And Jesus will give you exactly what you need if you trust him to give you his oil. And so the question comes down to, which oil are you receiving? Are you receiving the oil from the Holy Spirit? Or are you receiving the oil from the world? Where is your security? It's like how Jesus says, where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. A lot of people have all their treasures stored up in the things of this earth. How much money they have in the bank. How much stockpile they have. How much food they have stored in their barn. And they think that when everything hits the fan and when the government collapses and when they cannot provide for their families anymore, they think they'll be able to go to their barns And they imagine that um, the regulation will be there for them. But what the world doesn't understand, and many of these Christians don't understand, is Satan is the regulator of the world. And this provision that people are collecting that's from the world, Satan is going to regulate that. People's barns will be burnt down and all their provision will be instantly gone. All the money that's in the bank... um, that number will just vanish. It will be gone. And then what will people do when they have no more oil? They'll be panicked. They'll be killing each other. Morality will go out the window. So what will you do? Is your oil truly from heaven? Do you know that God is the one supplying your needs? And is he taking care of you? Are you tuned into him? Do you hear his voice? And are you receiving that supernatural um, oil that comes from the Holy Spirit that he gives you what you need every day? Or is your oil and your provision and your regulation from Satan and those men who are tapped into Satan's kingdom that are drilling the oil from the earth? I hope that your provision is really coming from Jesus Christ And you're like the five wise virgins who have oil in their lamp. May the grace of Jesus be with you.